I'm going to introduce you Aviro as part of CCA Spark and Hadoop Developer Exam Preparation, the part three, Data Analysis. Let's begin with um, the challenges that Aviro want to tackle. In the Hadoop ecosystem, text format adds a significant overhead to every data query or analysis. Data are moved between many different storage systems, structured, unstructured, or semi-structured. It is often very challenging to modify the file format across the entire system. Schemas are often complex, change frequently and slightly in the big data paradigm. It is generally to manage different schemas across diverse teams in a large organization. CSV, JSON data has a schema, but the schema isn't stored with the data. The solution that Avero proposed is a diverse, language neutral, and editable data structure that facilitates interoperability between many applications and data storage systems. Avero serializes data in his schema in a binary format. The schema are uh, divided in JSON or idle format. The result is more compact data encoding and faster data processing. We can use different schemas for the same data, and Avero will handle the missing extra or modified fields. Because uh, of the availability and the possibility to change schema in Avero, it becomes more easy to process both older and newer versions of the schema to upgrade applications that write the data and applications that read the data to extract the schema to better understand the data pattern. Avero support code generation as an option in contrast of uh, trips uh, and Google Buffer. Let's consider this example. It's a, a JSON um, data we have name, address, longitude, and latitude of uh, poles in the city of Montreal. Let's now define the schema for our previous data example. To define the schema in Avro, we have to define the namespace. Uh, it's like uh, defining a package name in Java. Then we define the name of the schema. We can optionally define different name. Okay. We can add a description. And um, we have to specify the type of our schema. In this case, because we will we have different fields. We expect different fields. Uh, we need to use the type record. We will explain later the data types that Avero support. In our case, we have four fields from our previous data: the name of time string, address of type string, longitude of type float, and latitude of type float. This schema is stored in uh, a file that have extension AVSC for Avero schema. Before we start our live demo, let's look at some command. The Apache Avero project provides an Avero tools jar file that came with many functions. In our first example, we want to serialize JSON data without a compression and with compression. Avero supports two compression types, snappy and deflate. Snappy is faster and deflate give more compactness. We first need to specify the path to the jar file and we take the function that converts our JSON data to Avero. Then we specify our schema file then our data file, and we define the Avero file where we want to store our data and our schema in a binary format. For the compression, 
everything will remain the same but instead here we have to specify the compression type okay let's now look at how we can deserialize our JSON data we have the function to JSON that will deserialize our Avero to a JSON format. We can deserialize our Avero in an, in an elegant presentation using Pretty, and we can store that deserialized data to a new file. If the Avero is compressed, the same function will be able to deserialize the data. Often, we may need to retrieve the schema stored in our Avero. For that, we have the function getSchema. If the Avero is compressed, the same function can retrieve the schema.